But what could be greater than a king? A hero. The early reviews are in for Aquaman, and ladies and gentlemen, these things are mind-blowingly good. They are very similar to the reviews I've seen when Black Panther dropped. And we'll discuss whether or not this is going to be the best superhero, the second or first best superhero movie of 2018 in this video. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, and all. Feeling all seeing all powerful, just damn all everything. The sex is hell. Host of this life games channel, we're bringing you life games and movie reviews. Whether you should spend that money on it, and we are talking about the Aquaman reviews are bananas. But before we do that, let me put on my plus seven glasses of the sex is hell. Work on skilling up my craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. No sponsors this week. I just want you guys to please go over there and subscribe to the Life Gain Finance and Fitness channel and also subscribe to the Life Gain email list. So this movie is directed by James Wan, who also did Fast and the Furious 7, which was a good movie. Aquaman drops December 21st, not too far away, but the early reviews have been saying this thing is going to be a monster. One of my favorite reviewers who has given me insight on all the great movies that have come out. He's never steered me wrong. Gets to see this stuff very early because he does critic reviews for a living. Take a look at what he said. In reaction to Aquaman. Let's get it out the way. The movie is outright awesome. It is hands down the best DCEU movie. Yes, even better than Wonder Woman. One of the best superhero movies of all time. And in my humble opinion, it's tied for the best superhero movie of the year along with black panther it's basically a big fantasy a sprawling big fantasy epic that happens to have superheroes in it so think lord of the rings meets indiana jones with some fish man action going on jason momoa delivers black manta delivers nicole kidman nicole kidman rocks she should be doing more action movies like this one she's awesome in all her scenes volko willem dafoe solid as always everyone's good the set pieces are awesome and James Wan's direction and his shot selection is on point. Go see Aquaman. I will again at least three, four times. That's my quick reaction video. Let me know what you think. Boom. Who would have ever had thought that Jason Momoa would be able to catch fire in the movie industry like this? When, when I think of Jason Momoa, all I traditionally think of is Drago from Game of Thrones. That's all I thought about. But they are saying that he is putting that to shame and is highlighting his range as an actor. You know, like he's going to be The Rock 2.0. Now that is yet to be seen, but we're going to keep watching it. They are saying that this movie is just a collage of an Indiana Jones mixed with Lord of the Rings, and it's going to be the thing to do. But to say that this movie is going to be the number two movie behind Black Panther, now y'all, that's a, that's a whole lot for me to swallow. Because y'all know, I'm hardcore Marvel. And to say that that movie is going to do better than Avengers Affinity War, where a lot of people have that as the best comic book movie of the year, followed by Black Panther, to say that Aquaman is going to knock one of those two out, now you're going to have to show me the money, Jason Momoa. You're going to really have to show me the money. They are early on saying that this movie is going to do possibly about $75 million the first weekend. I'm here to tell y'all, based on my reviewer, because he's never steered me wrong, I'm going to say this movie cracks $100 million opening weekend. And I want you guys 
to leave me comments about what you think it's going to do. Now, is it going to be a little weird to you all that this movie is going to be the, the, the turning point, the rebooting point that might kickstart the DECU on the big screen? You know, when you think of um, DC Comics, you think of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. If this movie comes out and is the anchor franchise similar to how Iron Man was for the Avengers and Marvel, will you guys feel any kind of weirdness about it? I'm actually pretty looking forward to this because if they get this right, maybe they'll hire James Wan and keep him for future movies and he can exude his directing talent and help the, the on-screen franchises for DC grow. I'm also excited because this might also get a Namor movie going in the Marvel Universe and Namor has just as good a backstory, if not better, than what you'll see with Aquaman. And this has just got me excited, man. I was kind of thinking about not going to see this, but after the reviews have come out, I will be going to see it. And my life game for you guys is if you are super comic book superhero fan or sci-fi fan, this is going to be your movie for de December. Get ready to go see it. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Let's get ready to go see Aquaman, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Momoa, and a star-studded cast in theaters. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.